Brr! When it's cold outside, we can add layers of extra clothing to help keep us warm. Even though animals are used to Maryland's changing seasons, many do not stay out during the winter time. Animals like reptiles will find other places like leaves or under soil or in crevices to help keep warm during the colder months. Let's go take a look at how the keepers help the reptiles prepare for the winter. So we are in one of our behind the scenes buildings where we house some of our reptiles during the winter. These are all native animals that we have in the Maryland wilderness. So we have some black rat snakes, some ho eastern hognose, milk snakes. So the cave and the tree is where you would find the exhibits that you would see these animals in, but they are all native to this area. So we go through a brumation process during the winter with our reptiles. Um, and so we'll add moss to their exhibits for them to burrow down in and that is where they go for the winter. They burrow down into something to help them wait out the winter months. So any animal, native snake or turtle that lives in Maryland will brumate and that is just partially what they go through because it does get so cold and they, they are ectotherms so they need to get their body heat from, their out, from outside sources. So brumation sounds a little bit like hibernation. Is, are they similar? Or are they different? So they are similar. Brumation is the term usually associated with reptiles and hibernation is usually associated with mammals. Animals during hibernation will actually sleep deeply throughout the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, but for brumation, they're more inactive. The animals are inactive, but if there's a warm day, you might see a snake or a turtle come out and bask. Since they do burrow down for the winter, all those animals are actually still on the exhibit. They're still there, but you might not be able to see them because of how they are burrowed into the moss. So every day we go through and we check on all of the animals just to make sure they're doing all right. So you open the, the enclosure and you go in and you check the moss. We actually like the moss to be damp, but not too wet, but also not too dry. We also check the snake, so we just kind of touch the snake, make sure he's doing doing all right. Um, so we do that with all of our all of our animals. Um, just check them every day, make sure their water bowl is full, and everything like that.